Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to install a locking bracket for a wooden sliding door. Now in most cases with a wooden sliding door, the handle is actually set back too far away so that a standard locking bracket is not compatible. In that case you'll receive one of these and what you want to do is attach it to your pet door insert, lining it up with your handle of your wooden sliding door and you can adjust it as far as you need to to ensure that it makes contact and reaches. You'll then use two or three screws to screw the locking bracket into the pet door insert and making sure that you're at least 15 millimeters away from the edge so as to not screw into the glass. In most cases with a wooden sliding door you'll have your female latch attached here with two screws facing that way. You want to then remove that latch by undoing the screws, screw it onto here, onto the wooden sliding door locking bracket, and line it up with your wooden sliding door. For a wooden sliding door, you'll also receive three of these plates. You want to bend them into a 90 degree angle. You're going to put one down the bottom here, screwing it into the frame, and then another screw into the pet door. With most wooden sliding doors, they don't have this lip here in the frame. So you want to take your plate, which is folded into an L profile, put one screw up into here, and then the door can just rest up against here. You don't want to screw in through here and into the adjustable leg, otherwise you'll stop the door from being able to be adjusted. Lastly, you want to take your third plate and you want to screw it in here through the existing hole from the female latch and into your pet door insert, ensuring that you do not put the screw too close to the glass, making sure that you're 15 millimeters away from the edge. If the plate is too long, like this situation, you can trim it off here so that it's nice and flush with your pet door insert.